All right, so we're in week nine of trying to make history. We've been trying to turn $100 into a million dollars in 60 days, but the 60 days have already passed. But for me personally, that's okay because we're still up on the challenge and we're very close to the goal. So we're gonna keep it going until we complete the challenge. All trades are being shown here on YouTube, my Telegram, Discord, everywhere so you guys can follow along and learn from my trades. We started eight weeks ago where I took my first attempt to the challenge and then we blew the account, but then I got right back in and we started once again where we're here now on week nine and it's honestly been a crazy journey but I'm ready for it. Where we've taken the $100 all the way up to $130,000, we're now we're gonna try and take these $130,000 into $260,000. So let's let the series begin. All right, so you know it's serious. Day one, bringing the pressure, you know I'm bringing the heat, because I got the heat turtleneck or whatever this is now. But for real, last week we didn't hit our goal of 160 for the week. We're at 130. Look, let me show you guys. This is where we currently are on the account, 130,000. This is the second time in this challenge that we didn't hit our goal for the week. But this week, I'm bringing the heat. Let me show you guys. All right, so obviously last week we had AUD CAD that we were looking for the sales up here. We caught them, everything went great. And then this is where we pretty much capped our profits. We tried to enter another trade, but then this trade right here hit us out at break even, lost a trade. And now this trade has been accumulating at this zone right here for about eight days. And this is where a lot of traders think that this market is consolidating, but it's not. This market is just building up because it's about to pop either to the upside or it's about to pop to the downside. But we know it's gonna pop to the downside, or I'm sorry, we have a high probability it might pop to the downside because we have the weekly time frame bearish, the daily time frame bearish, and the four hour time frame bearish. We have three time frames that are going to the downside. So this accumulation that's doing here, we have a higher probability of it popping down versus to the upside. And that's why I'm gonna no longer take a trade within the zone as I was doing before, which I've been very fortunate to make great profits. Then I'm going to be waiting for this price to break this zone and retest it. Clearly it's a very low level respected of support very well respected level of resistance and now this is what i'm going to be waiting in order to take this trade next we have nzd jpy so this is a trade that i've been analyzing for two weeks now and it's giving us very clear indications now very similar to aud cad here we have three time frames in sync the weekly is bullish the daily is bullish and the four hour is bullish so on the daily time frame you can see this very clear inverted head and shoulders at this area of interest. This inverted head and shoulders, not only has it been completed, but we've broken the neckline and now we're retesting this area of interest that it has one, two, three, four, five, six touches. And now what I'm gonna be waiting for is on the lower time frame for price to then give me my entry signal and my shift to structure. Beautiful break and retest, beautiful pullback continuation. Now I'm going to be waiting for the shift on the lower time frames. So I'm gonna be waiting for the shift on this one hour. I'm gonna be waiting for the break and retest of the zone in order Order to take this trade to the upside it could be on the one hour 30 minute whichever comes first ideally what i would want is for this to pretty much give me a four hour bullish engulfing because then that will, what it would do is, is on the one hour it would pretty much break that structure point right there in order for me to take that trade next we have euro jpy which is a very solid trade setup and you guys can tell how right here this is a super strong area of interest we have one two three four five touches i wouldn't count this one because we have broken Broken above that zone and then on top of that we have another head and shoulders another one where now we have broken the neckline we are retesting it and this area of interest has also a round psychological level of 57,500. so the easiest trade i can do here is literally wait for the break and retest under the break and retest under on the one hour is going to be a very clear break and retest of this potential head and shoulders as well so i need for price to pretty much just have this break have the retest and then i sell that's going to be retesting one the one hour ema two area of interest three round psychological level four neckline of the head and shoulders on the one hour so many things are going to be happening if this does this so that's why we're going to be remaining patient and i have more pairs for the week but they're just going to be my top three i'm telling you that was some heat like if you pay attention to what i just did right there that's some heat but i'll show you guys right now it is currently sunday 7 40 at uh night let's see if we get some trades around london let's go all right, what is up guys? So it is Monday morning, it's 10.34 in the morning. I don't know why my hoodie is like this. So 
currently took euro jpy in a loss right now let me show you guys so as of right now this is where the current balance of the account is euro jpy we are about um six thousand dollars in profit uh well no hold on this is aud card let me show you guys euro jpy so we're going to explain that trade right now so euro jpy you guys can see we're currently in drawdown in the trade exactly what i wanted to happen on this trade happened we had a perfect left head right shoulder a perfect retest of the neckline retest of the ema beautiful bearish engulfing on the one hour there's nothing else i can ask for this trade i took this trade because it's just exactly what i wanted and then we have our stop loss that is right above this zone right here which is a previous lower high so if price hits that we're pretty much ultimately wrong on the overall direction a little bit of drawdown right now it's annoying but it is what it is currently down seven thousand dollars uh but we're just gonna hit a little quick set and figure out on this trade until we either hit stop loss or go back into profit nzd uh jpy didn't break and retest so far as strong as i wanted to it looks like we're doing that about right now and then last but not least is aud cad which we are having the break so we're having the break exactly as i was explaining um last night i already took off the arrow that was like this yesterday because we've already broken so now i'm only focused on the retest of the pair to come back and retest this very strong level of support we haven't body closed under this in a very long time so now the fact that we've done it can mean that there is a high probability of there being a retest just as there was here so that we can continue heading to the downside so once again this is how we're currently looking on the account and we'll check back in probably in like another hour or two let's see where the trades uh go but for now i said i forget all right guys so market update it is currently eight o'clock at night so pretty much nothing uh additional has happened since the morning other than we got stopped out of the trade we didn't go as aggressive as i wanted to because it's the first trade of the week usually i like going the first trade of the week pretty much a little bit less than the aggressive approach and luckily it played out in our favor so let me actually just show you guys all right so we're currently at 116,000. so we took a loss on the trade earlier this morning this is pretty much where the pnl on the account is so obviously the account was up a very solid amount the highest it's been up was 131 you guys can see right here the pnl going up taking the little dip we've taken a total of 25 trades and our win rate is a 64 percent win rate so 16 out of those trades i've won nine out of those trades i have lost and you guys can see here that this trade right here has given us a very solid reason to stop us out so we've broken above the structure points from this point right here we had a bullish candle on the daily time frame uh, just getting this fixed there you go so we've had a daily candlestick rejection uh daily, a daily doji but didn't manage to close under the daily area of interest i don't like how the four hour as well managed to close above that structure point right there so these are just all things that i don't like from this pair that it's given us so for right now my bias still remains the same still going to be waiting for these break and retest to then sell in order to continue to trade to the downside but this is our first loss for the week next we have nzd cad which i I'm going to be scaling it in a position very soon if it gives us a little quick pullback we have a beautiful left head right shoulder we just have to come in now and kind of retest that neckline to head to the upside but everything is happening perfectly as i'm anticipating uh just kind of miss the trade i guess i mean it's still just about four pips or uh, in profit i could still enter it here not a bad idea but obviously just the risk to reward needs to be worth it so i'm going to wait for a little quick pullback into here to enter the trade and then last but not least it's going to be aud cash which AUD CAD we're going to then wait for our entry signals rejecting that strong level of support which is having the pullback exactly like I'm anticipating so if you notice this pullback has now happened now we're going to be waiting for the rejections to enter the trade at this level so not an amazing start to the week but it's only Monday night there's still plenty of opportunity and these other opportunities that are lining up now I like them equally as good as your JPY and I'm going to be taking a big a risk on it because you know we gotta we gotta go to hit this week so i'll keep you guys updated later throughout the night uh if i catch the trade now in london i usually catch it from my bed i uh, you know i'm a human i have to sleep and then if not we'll update during new york so stay tuned all right good morning guys so it is the next morning and exactly what i explained last night on nzdjpy and audjpy has happened and this is a very valuable lesson to show you guys on sometimes you're gonna have pairs like euro jpy and ncdjpy that they both have completely different directions and then they're going to play out in the same direction but you're going to take pairs against each other let me explain what i mean by that 
So trade update, this is exactly how we are in the account right now. We're up about $40,000. So we're almost at last week's take profit. We're not even up in this week's profit where we're supposed to be, but it's okay. I still see plenty of opportunity in the market. As you guys can see, this is exactly what I explained last night. Perfect break and retest of the neckline of this head and shoulders on the lower time frames. This is exactly what we were anticipating. Retest of the EMA, you have your 30 minute bullish engulfing candlestick right there. And then you have the next scale in on the 30 minute time frame, which is pretty much the next higher low. Once you have the higher high, then you have the next higher low to then give you this extra bullish engulfing confirmation, this next structure point, that's where I added and scaled into the next position. And as of right now, we've came up all the way up to the the take profit point that I have marked right now, which this line right here, if you look all the way to the left, it has been respected multiple times in the past. It has been used as resistance, 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 and then support. So it can potentially be used as resistance right now. So I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do in the next five to 10 minutes to see if I close it or if I let it run to see if it has more profits. Then Euro JPY, yesterday we were looking for the sales and then this is exactly what I was just explaining right now. Both of these pairs have the JPY, meaning one has Euro JPY and then the other is NZD, uh, NZD JPY and the other is Euro JPY. So they're supposed to move in the same direction because they have the JPY and that's not the case really. But as you can tell for this example right here, they have. But that doesn't mean that I'm supposed to take a buy on this when the sales look good. I'm the type of trader that I take a trade on whatever makes the most sense. And at this trade, that very moment, the sales made the most sense because the majority of the trend were to the downside. Versus here, taking a buy makes the most sense because all three time frames are in that direction. So I'm basically just gonna take whatever the market shows me, not what I think. And then next we have AUD CAD, which exactly how I explained as well. Had the retest of the area perfectly as I was expecting and as I, I was explaining yesterday. Just didn't manage to cast this one. I was just focusing on NZDJPY, but once again, the seven figure strategy has striked on the market. So this is only Tuesday morning. It is currently Tuesday morning at 8.43 in the morning. So looking pretty good to have a good foundation to technically start the week because we have just hit last week's take profit. Um, I personally think there can still be another two, three moves on not these pairs, but other pairs throughout the week to give us those profits that we need in order to be able to complete this challenge. Obviously not in 60 days now, but maybe 90 days. So I'll keep you guys updated on exactly what goes on. And by the way, we got the drift car back today. So they're going to ship us a drift car, but there's a hurricane in Miami right now. Well, you can't tell right now, but it pops up whenever it wants. So I'll keep you guys updated. All right, trade update. So it is currently 9.30 at night. So the trade earlier this morning, obviously we closed it this morning, but I could have still been holding the trades and I could have even made more profit, but I didn't want to get greedy. I wanted to have a nice cushion for this beast of a trade that we're about to take right now that I'm pretty much going to go all in. So let me show you guys right now. This is where the account is currently settling at. 161,000 right now, which is the balance where I should have been at the beginning of the week because those are the profits that I should have had last week. But let me show you guys my analysis for this week. So AUD CAD had already pretty much retested the area that I wanted to take the trade and then it hit the take profit zone, but now we're pulling back up at that zone because I like how the daily candlestick has closed as a daily wick. I think this next daily candlestick is gonna fill. If I go down to the one hour, you can see how we're pretty much about to you know, create a structure point under this level right here in the next 25 minutes. So that's where I'm gonna decide if your body closes under, I'll take a trade with a little small 20 pip stop loss and then I'll probably have a bigger take profit for around here for about 40 pips. And then if not, what I can do is I can wait for a little quick pullback, which I will get a left head and then a right shoulder which I'll pretty much have an entry right here. And then I'll probably add another entry at the retest of the neckline. So AUD CAD is looking very solid. Um, our NZD JPY trade, we pretty much closed right around this area right here, which was pretty solid right before like the pullback, which we would have been much more profit if I would have kept holding, but it is what it is. Now, I'm not gonna say I'm done with it, but what I am gonna keep expecting is for price to now come back and pretty much, if it gives me another high low around this area, I will then take the trade again around here. 
If not, I'm gonna wait for a bigger pullback like the daily time frame, which I think it might do it, which is gonna have a big pullback into around this level here before then pulling up to the upside again. So if that happens, then that means that the four hours is obviously gonna come deeper. So this trade is pretty much gone. So if we don't pull back into around this level and then reject, I think we can then pull back into around this level here to then have the push to the upside. So we got that in the pipeline and then we got AUD CAD, which I'm gonna be potentially entering very, very soon. So stay tuned, update you guys tomorrow in the morning. All right, good morning guys. So it is Wednesday morning and last night's trade pretty much exactly as I explained as well. Uh, avoided one loss on AUD CAD and then we got into the NZD JPY continuations. Like once you understand the pair that already has three time frames in sync and you've already done the weekly analysis and the weekly is destined to continue going for the rest of the week, you just keep going with the trend. That is the easiest part. Like we already did the hard part, which is finding the pair and understanding the trend. Now you just keep going with the wave. Like why you want to get out fast? So let me show you. All right, so this is where we're currently sitting in profit about 40K. So I literally just took the same exact trade as yesterday. We just continue going with the trend. So as you guys can see here, this is NZDJPY. We took these buys yesterday. You guys already know. We explained this yesterday. You guys saw it go down, break, retest, continuation, easy. Then we said exactly what we we're going to do last night, which is create the high low. We entered at the first rejection and then we entered at the next rejection right at London session and at the same exact thing. Left, head, right shoulder, and look at the time, 3.15 in the morning. Same exact thing as pretty much every single night. Like, do you guys think that we just did a whole weekly analysis? We've understood that this weekly time frame is pretty much creating a higher low right now. Like it's literally creating a higher low to create a new higher high. This created a higher low to create a higher high. Right now, we're about to create that weekly higher high. Why, do you, why, why should we just get a little quick 20, 30 pip move? There's so much upside on this trade that it is insane. We've been trapped in this consolidation zone for about 50 days. We had a beautiful breakout, a beautiful retest of the neckline of the head and shoulders, left head, right shoulder. And now all we're doing is just continuing with the trend. Like it's really that easy. I see this pair hitting all the way to take profits of up here. And now we're just getting into the trades as the momentum keeps on going. So my first take profit is right here. And I'm just gonna keep set and forgetting because this trade has loads of upside potential. I'm talking about loads of upside potential. So AUD CAD last night uh, didn't give me the entry signal that I was looking for at this area so we simply never took the trade this would pretty much be the second entry on this trade but it just never gave us the exact entry signal that we are needing but it is what it is so now we're just going to keep waiting for the same exact thing which would be the break and retest of the zone once again so we never took this so we would just be waiting for something like this break and then retest to then sell and this is a prime example and it showed you guys that trading is not hard like once you find the right pair once you find the right momentum once you find the direction of the market you just keep going with the wave man like this you know it's not rock science you know so this is where a lot of traders they would see the market keep going and not be able to get in they get greedy and then they just kind of go crazy you need to be very relaxed you need to be very level-headed because if not this market will humble you so this is a perfect example of set and forget, perfect example of your trend is your friend. So we're gonna continue to hold the trade now probably for like the next 30, 40 minutes. Let's see how the candlesticks close and I'll keep you guys updated. You know what, I'm gonna show you guys one thing, one thing that I show all of my students with the head and shoulders. That is my reversal pattern. My, not my reversal, but my favorite reversal pattern that has given me the majority of my success. Like what I'm about to show you guys, do not take it for granted. This is taking me forever to perfect and to actually see it play out time and time again. Do not take this for granted, but I'm about to show you guys. The head and shoulders reversal pattern is right here. Left, head, and then right shoulder. The head and shoulders reversal pattern will be a reversal pattern for a long time, especially on the daily time frame. Meaning that this reversal pattern can have our actual tape profit of where we should close this trade. And that is double the size of the head. So if you were to measure the head, you would go from the body of the head 
all the way to the neckline of the head and shoulders. And what you would do is you would copy and paste that line right there, which is the length of the head. And then what you would do is you would put it right at that point of where the neckline is. And would you look at that? It takes us to our take profit point, which is right to the next structure point. And that is not a coincidence. That is because this is the most valid and the most powerful reversal pattern there is in the whole market. And if we were to copy and paste it again, you guys can see that we do the head once again. And this goes all the way up to where? Right next to the next structure point, which is the final take profit. Our take profits are based off of structure points. You guys can see how this happens perfectly. Like you can't make this up. And this is a gem that I teach my students and this has been something I keep very private, but I'm gonna put it out here for you guys because you guys have been following the journey now for pretty much nine weeks. So this structure point right here, not only is it a coincidence that it's my take profit, but it's also the head of the inverted head and shoulders, which is take profit one, take profit two, is that structure point right there. So do not let this gem go over you guys' head. Trust me. All right, market update. So it is currently 10.33, so about an hour since the last time we updated it. We're up about 53,000 right now. So we're gonna start, we're at our first take profit point. So. Based off of that point right there, we're gonna see how we end up closing this trade, but pretty much at the highest point we have been so far. All right, so trade update. Uh, it's currently three o'clock. So the last time that I ate was nine o'clock yesterday. So that's, I'm about like a 17, 17 and a half, 18 hour fast. So that's probably the secret on how I've lost so much weight. And honestly, I feel good. Like it sucks at the beginning, obviously you get hungry and stuff, it sucks, but it is what it is. So this is currently trade up there right now on the account. So we're up about 212,000. Uh, we closed the trade earlier when I mentioned that it was pretty much hit our take profit to the T. And would you look at that? Exactly what I was explaining about the take profit being double the head and shoulders. Look how perfect that works to the T. And on top of that, not only was it the head of the head and shoulders, but it was also that structure point right there. So like you guys can see how the set and forget strategy shows you to the T, not only how to have the strategy to enter the trade, but how to close it at the right point. So right now we're gonna go eat something. Hold on. So look, hack, let me show you a hack. So that left light is gonna turn left right now, it's gonna take forever. So we're gonna take this red light that we just happen to take right now. We're gonna pop the U-turn. We don't wait the red light, you feel me? been us over there look jump. that would have been us over there but we just finessed the system just like that you know what I'm well i haven't figured out how to finesse traffic yet but i'll get back to you guys when we get to that the point is that send and forget works i'm gonna not try and force more trades for the week because you know my goal for the week is 300k so I can get one more trade. And I don't think you guys realize how close I am to actually completing this already. Because if you think about it, when I turned 1,000 to 3K, wasn't a big deal. But I flipped the account by two times. If I do the same flip right now, it means I'm gonna turn 200 into 600,000. And that's it, I just gotta flip it one more time and I'm at the mill. Like, people think just because it's on bigger numbers that it's crazier, it's the same exact thing. It's the same trades, everything is exactly the same. Just some people, they've never had big numbers, they've never had, you know, six figures floating up and down, so then they don't really comprehend it or understand it and they think it's crazy. Trust me, it's the same shit, it's just numbers on the screen. All right, so we just pulled up the stacks to shop, get some clothes, got some jeans. Mall pants, pants you wear the mall, as a sign of respect. Came to show you, but I'm barefoot. If there's one pet peeve I have is I can't walk barefoot. I fucking hate that shit, bro. So, it's how to walk. They look good though, right? Yeah, they're fire. I'm taking these jeans, but I don't want to take them off. So, we got the tag on it. I was, uh, I was, about, to, I was about to run off, but she caught me. So now I got to put my leg up here to take it off. Right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> And you thought I was going to do that all by myself? You're crazy. <laughs> you thought I was going to do that all by myself? Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Alright, fuck, 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 fuck,
that she drifted out. You know what? All oh, the way drift. Oh, bro. We about to hit it right now. And if we hold this button all the way down, DC off confirmation. Confirm selection. Confirm. Or why? Cancel. Why? I can't. Okay, look. Confirm selection. Yes. Turn off traction. Cancel. Fuck, bro. Actually, it does turn off. So we're gonna turn traction back on. Where is it? Right here. Turn back on. Thank you. That was close. That was close. We're going too fast. Alright guys, so market update and I just pretty much came back to the market trying to have been out all day and actual chills that I have right now for how I predicted this market and how we've been predicting this market time and time again. The set and forget strategy, like, like I, I don't know if you guys can see the actual chills right now, but let me just show you guys. So you guys can see this is AUD CAD that I've been calling from the beginning of the week and I explained to you guys I would look to enter if it broke and then retested that to then sell. Look at that beautiful break, little wick retest to then sell. This is on the four hour time frame. If I go down to the one hour time frame, you guys can see how it has that perfect retest of the neckline of the area of interest, left head, right shoulder, EMA, bearish and golf, everything. And it's not even that. You guys look at here in the free telegram, I literally sent this at 2.24 in the afternoon. And I said, the first one didn't play out, didn't retest there perfectly, so let's wait for the next break and retest. And look at this, not even 12 hours later, look at the update right now. Sudden forget strategy for the win once again, 88,000 members have seen this. Absolutely insane. NZD JPY trade has pulled back. We pulled out perfectly at the take profit level due to the fact that it was this structure point and due to the fact that it was double the head of the inverted head and shoulders. Like, look how precise this gets time and time again. So I'm gonna be looking to add a position now uh, once and if we break this 15 minute lower high structure. So I need the 15 minute time frame to come here and then basically break and then retest this area to then head to the upside. I'm gonna be waiting for that in order to take this trade because it's where it would make the most sense because right now we've had a very strong daily wick pullback back, but can't help to notice that we are retesting this pretty okay for our area of interest. So last but not least is gonna be Euro JPY, which we're gonna still be waiting for the same exact thing, same exact break and retest to then sell to the downside um, because earlier this week we got stopped out on it. So looking solid so far, it is currently Thursday, 12.28 a.m. So we're about to enter London session very, very soon. And it's crazy, like I'm out here putting these hours day in day. I don't know if you guys can see, but like my eyes are like purple, like I barely sleep just for this challenge to get it out the way. As soon as I complete this challenge, I am going to take a week or two off completely from the markets. I haven't left my house in two months. You guys know I love traveling to places and I haven't been able to just because I want to have the laser focus for this challenge, but I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing this to show you guys that it's possible. All you just need is the right strategy to do it and some proper risk management. Along with patience, anything could get done. All right, market update. So it is currently Thursday. 7 p.m. EST. The account right now is exactly the same. We haven't taken any trades. Just to show you guys, 12, what is it? 212,000. So I don't wanna say I'm done trading for the week, but I don't see any A plus setups in the market, right? And I want you guys to understand how close I am to completing this challenge. We are literally almost there. All I have to do is flip it, I think four or five more times. It was harder for me to turn $100 into a thousand than it is for me turning 200K into a mil now. It's just a percentage game, not a numbers game. Keep that in mind. So let me show you guys kind of what the market is right now. I'm not really like a big fan of it. So right now, NZDJPY, 
moment as I explained this morning it has rejected perfectly this strong level of resistance and we've had a very strong daily bearish engulfing pulling back to this area once again pretty much where we started off the week and then after we started off the week we had to push up the retest kept going up and now we're at this area again so we might do the same thing that we did before again which is literally break and retest the zone so what i mean by that is we're obviously down here in the zone so we might just break and then retest and do it again so we might just have that same exact play happen right here break and retest and then do it again if that happens then i will potentially take the trade because we have a left head and then this will kind of be like the right shoulder will be retesting the neckline of the head and shoulder retesting the ema retesting the area of interest just the same thing once again next we have euro jpy which we got stopped out earlier this week right here we got stopped out price kept going up to the upside for a little bit and now we're back under the zone pretty much doing exactly what i had anticipated very strong and bearish marabuzu daily candlestick amara buzu when there is no wick at the top or the bottom of a candlestick showing very strong bearish indication or if it's to the upside bullish indication for example this is another bearish marabuzu if you can see every single time there's one of those there's huge momentum after that you can see it here once again huge bearish marabuzu and then huge bearish momentum to the downside so we could potentially have that once again right here if you notice this right here Huge bearish Marabuzu, but then we rejected because we were above this resistance level. In this case, we're actually under it. So I can potentially wait for now a little quick pullback and then to sell. Not super excited about it, but I'm just keeping it in mind. So I'm going to wait for some rejections around here to then take this trade to the downside. Next, we have AUD CAD, which had the break and retest perfectly as I expected and i'd say it's pretty much gone there's nothing we can do about it now uh the trade that we were looking to take it happened and now we just have to sit on the sidelines until another one happens so this trade happened perfectly to the set and forget t so now it's gone we can't chase it we just move on to the next one and that's what a lot of traders aren't willing to do now all of these pairs are for me not that interested except euro aud because we're coming back to retesting this area of interest daily ema Wrong psychological level, 166,500. But I don't like how the four hour kind of is looking right around this level. So I don't know. I'm gonna keep my eye on it. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna look at Euro JPY and potentially Euro AUD for sales if I get what I'm looking for at this area of interest. So set and forget, our goal is 300K for the week. Let's see if we can squeeze something tonight for London, for the last London session of the week. If not, we'll come back next week and just do it again, once again. All right, what is up guys? Good morning. So officially the trade that we caught last night has given us 100K floating in profit. Right now, it was probably up like 90,000 a couple minutes ago and I just finished the Instagram stories right now, which I can literally show you guys right now. These, these things are hilarious. Look at this. I got hyped for the Instagram, but officially we've hit 100K on the account. So let me show you guys exactly what I explained last night <laughs> happened to perfection. So this is currently where we are sitting on the account. We are currently of about $101,000 floating in profit. And this is on the Euro AUD trade that we explained yesterday to perfection. Literally the exact same zone that I drew out yesterday, the same exact spot. I basically expected the break, expected the retest of the zone to then sell. That is exactly what we have gotten right now. So now that we've gotten this break and retest, I entered the first entry signal, literally at that bearish engulfing candlestick right around here, which was our evening star formation. And then I entered on the next one after this huge bearish candle, I entered right on the top of that pullback right there. So it was a pretty nice pullback. Well, not all the way in the top, it was pretty much like halfway at the top until it was retesting the zone right here. So this was our second entry on this trade. So this is absolutely to perfection. Once again, the set and forget strategy doing its thing. Now we're floating about $98,000 in profit. So I'm gonna wait for this to uh, probably the next five to eight minutes, because then I just wanna close right now. Don't need any more profits to close off the week. We hit our goal. 
And then last but not least, Euro, I mean, uh, NZDJPY, exactly what I explained last night has just happened, which is the breakout of this structure point right here. So I explained as soon as we break above this structure point, I'll be waiting for then the retest to then go along. We broke out, never got the retest, and look at this, this like went through the screen. So this shows you guys once again, the seven figure strategy doing the finest moves it's just absolutely insane that I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. like throughout this challenge i realized how good of a trader i am so i'm gonna wait probably another couple of minutes to see how this closes probably see if we can fill that bearish candle to the downside to see if we could probably get a little bit more profit um but other than that i will keep you guys updated all right, so we officially closed the trade, but I want to show you guys what I get retagged every single day on Instagram. Because I feel like I never show it here on YouTube of everybody catching these trades of me calling it live on my Instagram. Let me show you guys. So you guys can see this is my Instagram and literally everybody catches the trade. For example, this guy was is up $5,000 off the trade. This guy caught it off the story as well. This next trader here caught it from the set and forget. You guys can see here, I get constant DMs of people thanking me for these type of trades. Like I can also go here, oh, <laughs> or else I can also go here to like the stories and just people tag me all the time that they're catching these trades. Look, that is the Euro AUD trade. Literally everybody catches the trades that I sent and I get tagged on it constantly. Look at it there once again, Euro AUD. And it just keeps going, Euro AUD once again. Go trade, Euro AUD, they caught the move everything just off of the instagram story so we officially closed the trade at this area let's go so i just saw the dm right now and the guy was like hey bro like what did you do different now to make that 100k profit on this trade compared to the other ones and i literally said nothing i haven't done anything different everything is exactly the same the only thing that is different is the account size and what i'm risking that is simple but you guys get blinded by the money you guys get blinded by 100k in profit and that's what you guys care about you guys don't care about what had to get put behind that 100k in order to make that money i am taking the same exact trades that i took at the beginning of the challenge that i took last week that i took four months ago that i took a year ago that i took two years ago that i've been taking my whole entire journey since i've been profitable nothing has changed it is the exact same trade now just because i made 100k that means that the trade is different or there's a specific strategy no it's the same thing the only thing that changes is the risk management and the account size the moment you guys understand that you will be profitable because you can do anything you want once you have the profitable strategy if you have a profitable strategy you can apply it and you will succeed it is simple so i want to make i want to make that very clear this is the same exact strategy you don't think just because it's a bigger number something has changed the only thing that has changed is the lot size and what i'm about to do with the challenge once i'm done with it you guys can see everything right here to perfection we are up three hundred and nine thousand dollars. this looks literally insane in the pnl chart so, so far for this week, we have a total of about 1,400% for the month. We have about 135% for the week percentage-wise. So, obviously, when you look at it this percentage-wise and maybe like this, it might look like a lot. But when you look at it like this on a day-to-day, -day, on a week-to-week -week basis, it's not much regarding the high risk like don't think a hundred dollars took me to 300k not at all this is the percentage that i made for the week because if i did not turn a hundred dollars into 300k i turned 200k into 300k so that's the percentage that i got so total so far we have 31 trades that we have taken with a 70 percent win rate 30 percent loss rate so so far the seven figure strategy is 70 30 looking very very good all right, so let's have a recap of how the week went. This week started off with a loss. We had our first loss of the week, which probably put us down about $10,000 from what I remember right now. But then later that night, I explained to you guys the next opportunity that we had on NZDJPY and AUDKI. NZDJPY is a prime example of a continuation trend. Literally, we just continue buying with the weekly, continue buying with the daily, continue buying with the four hour, inverter head and shoulders, break and reach. It's like, that is all you need to succeed. We bought it, we scaled in, and then we hit our take profit, and we scaled in once again, which gave us great profits on the trade and put us up a lot of profits. And then next, we had AUD CAD, which then we missed. The trade played out perfectly as we anticipated, and that trade was something that I would take time and time again, but obviously all of my efforts were put on NTDJPY at the time. 
but it shows you how out of three solid trade setups I was anticipating at the beginning of the week, two of them played out very well. That is why every single time I go on Sunday swings with the students and I analyze the pairs of the week, I always do anywhere from three to four to five top pairs for the week that we look to trade on the week ahead. Now, we don't look to trade all of them, we just look to trade the ones that have the best probability setups. This is a very prime example of a very solid week and how the center figure strategy works once again, if you want to know more about the center figure strategy and how my students are making anywhere from a thousand to a thousand five hundred dollars a week using my center figure strategy, hit the link in the description below. I have a video that explains what the center figure strategy actually consists about. There's a lot of different theories about it and what it actually means. And the video below is going to explain to it because you're just seeing weak time and time again how I'm predicting these markets. There's a very simple explanation that has taken me about five and a half years, almost six years now to complete it in a way where it's very easy for you to understand and you make anywhere from a thousand to a thousand five hundred dollars a week as a beginner center figure trade. So I appreciate you guys watching this video all the way to the end. If you learned anything, drop a comment and make sure you guys watch these videos again because there's so much value in these videos that I wish I had when I started trading. And I'm sure you guys are not only learning, but you guys are completely changing your lives and the legacy of your family forever. So appreciate you guys watching this video to the end. I'll see you guys in the next one.